No, everything's going well. Gym went well today. Um, finally, my knees basically pain free with everything that I do. The only thing I can't do is really bend it lots and lots. Well, I can bend, I can, but I can't. I can't, I can't do like a really solid quad stretch. I can't twist it like this very much, even though I did a little bit then. Um, so yeah, everything's tracking really well, and we're pretty much six or so weeks uh, into training, or since I started training again after my time off, so the stuff in the gym is really starting to pick up, I'm starting to lift some bigger weights, which is really exciting, but at the same time, I just have to almost just check my ego um, and just make sure that I'm actually lifting what I'm capable of lifting. Like, if we could get so caught up in, yeah, I want to do this, need to do this, this is what it says on paper, I want to be doing this, and just, and even ignore the fact that maybe your back's a little bit sore that day, or you didn't have a very good sleep, or, or you know, yeah, not everything's going to go exactly to plan, and um, and yeah, I think what I've learned over over time, and still am learning, is just making sure that I continue to monitor how I'm feeling versus what I want to get done. Um, I'm so lucky to have people like Saya and my coach Jamie to to keep myself in check when I'm trying to push myself too hard, but. Um, that's definitely so important to be able to see things in the long term because if all you do is look at what you got that day, one day you're going to break and you know and, and missing a, a, a few exercises, a few sessions once in a while isn't going to cause any uh, isn't going to set you back, but it's definitely going to help you more in the long term compared to just absolutely nailing yourself every day. So that's something I learned over time, something that I'm trying to implement right now. Gym's going well at the moment. <sighs> gym recently or over the last year or so is the core and accessory exercises to me you know back a few years ago it was all kind of like the extra stuff that I that I did and the stuff that I did because I got told that I have to do it but all of these extra things like the core exercises and um, upper body um, uh, pull-ups for example they're all there to complement what we're doing on the bike and when you actually relate that to what you're doing like pull-ups you pull on your handlebars and drive forward that's why pull-ups are so important or face pulls like why am i even doing this i don't need upper body for pedaling but like that's what helps me get my upper back strong for my deadlift which is going to make me strong on the bike so it's all interrelated and more that i understand that um you know the more that i can be focused and and, and really work on these really what seems like unimportant parts of my training that actually are quite important too